Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat something called a Monster Munch Pickled Onion Flavoured Crisp. Now, I've never tried these before and it says limited edition, so I'll probably never be able to try them again. And they are in date, it's currently the 21st of September. Um, these are dated the... Um, 30th of September um, recently Rishi said he was going to our Prime Minister said that he was going to um, put the date back or extend the date for when um, it will be illegal to sell um, new petrol cars so I could not have known that a few weeks ago so there you go also, I mean, I don't know why I'm saying this, but just to prove it, it is roughly the day it is, okay? It's roughly, it is the 21st. Now, let's try them, okay? Now, normally, Monster Munch, I think, have their own special shapes, and they don't look like normal crisps. These are apparently normal-shaped crisps, but with a different flavour. I've never tried these before, so I'm going to. This is, a, this is a, pack of, a pack of five. Normally, crisps like this are in a pack of six. Um... I think I've just decided to put less in because it's a limited edition flavour. You always get a pack of crisps in inside. It's just on the back that's suitable for vegetarians. Like um, all their flavours are to my knowledge at the moment. Even the meat flavoured ones are suitable for vegetarians because they don't have any actual real meat products in them. Um, so now it doesn't say suitable for vegans. Um, I know that I have come across some crisps that are suitable for vegans, but that's not a matter. Right, so I'm going to open them up. Inside, they look just like normal shaped crisps. They don't look anything special at all. Just normal shaped crisps, just like ready salted shape. They don't have a unique colour either, so it's nothing particularly looking... Just by looking at them, you wouldn't notice there's any difference, I don't think. Um, now, one of the main flavours over here is um, cheese and onion. They've just called it pickled onion, so that obviously that maybe there's no cheese per aspect to this. Strangely, it genuinely does taste like pickled onion. Now, if I'm honest, um, it may be a bit too oniony for me. strange actually I don't know spooky strange because um I have had pickled onions um and it just it genuinely tastes a bit like them which is quite strange um I think I prefer the cheese and onion flavour because this is a bit too um they've done too good a job to be honest that's the problem and um One of the problems with pickled onions is sometimes I can do what my mum calls repeat on you, where you get this sort of aftertaste, which can sort of not taste so good sometimes. So, it is quite sharp. If you like pickled onions, you'll probably like these, and if you don't, you won't. I know that's stating the obvious, but, you know, I'm amazed at how accurate they've managed to do this, really. Um, and the sag apparently is based on monster milk flavours and snacks which they make which look a sort of like coffee and um, I think they have like the shape of a hand or something. I think I did a video once where um, I ate some I think, I can't remember it's long time ago if I gig if I'm honest I think I prefer um I think I just cheese and onion but or I even prefer quavers which have no onion taste at all but there you go um
So I'm, I'm going to um, leave the video now because I'm just going to be close to the crest so you can see them. For any Americans watching, we call crisps what you call potato chips. Oh, there you go. And these are made by Walkers. Which is the main crisp brand over here, okay? And here it's got um, what they call a traffic light system which tells you how good the food is for you in terms of nutrition. And I know you can't see a lot of that because it's a bit blurred, but there you go, so I will tell you. Um, It says goes red in fat, which means, you know, it's not, you know, n n good nutritionally regarding fat, but you'd expect that, the crisps, you know. And regarding saturates, it's yellow, which is like um, medium. Um, green, it's very good for sugar, because obviously there's not really any sugar in here, it's crisps. And 5% for the salt. Okay, so it's amber for the salt. So it's based on a traffic light system of red being bad and green being good and amber or yellow being in between. Okay, and that's how nutrition is explained to people over here generally. Okay, so they can make up their own mind about how healthy the food is. I don't mean it's whether you're like it's poorly made and you'll end up in hospital or it's got any bugs in it. That's not what I mean, but you know, in terms of nutrition, okay. And on the back it says, looks like a Walker's crisp, tastes like a pickled onion, monster munch, ridiculously wonderful. That's what they say, not my opinion, but that's what they say, okay? Anyway. And also, they don't want you time to sell them separately, so... It has a method there, multi-pack bag, not to be sold separately. I think they charge retailers more for individual packs than um, if you buy them as a pack of five or six. So that's why they did that, you see, because some retailers have the idea of buying a pack of six or twelve, and ripping the packet open, and then just selling them individually and making more money. And apparently the um, crush company, Walkers, didn't like that very much. Okay? Um, for any Americans out there, a few years ago, um, Walker's Crisps was bought out by Lays of America. So, essentially, um, Walker's now belongs to, my, to Lays, okay? But they kept the Walker's brand name over here. They do sell some crisps over here with the name Lays, usually special flavours and big bags. But the standard flavours and, you know, crisp packet sizes and things they've kept the walker's name because it's famous over here more than Lay's okay because walker started out as a British um, crisp manufacturer and I believe the crisp is still made over here I believe anyway um, thanks for watching guys bye